as for the Isnad, it is from Qatada, from Abu Rafi, from Abu Huraira. There are multiple problems. I'm going to go over them quickly. Number one, the first issue, and I've gone over this in more detail, the first issue in my uh, lecture series about uh, the uh, the stories of the prophets when I talked about Adam alayhi salam and the story or the hadith that is found uh, that uh, were it not for Hawa deceiving Adam, no wife would deceive her husband. I went into a, a, a mini summary of some of the aspects of this hadith and I mentioned that every single narration uh, that we find Abu Huraira rahim, uh, ta'ala an, talking about uh, the stories that some of our own scholars have said we need to be a little bit more careful and that is because it is well known in our tradition that there has been contamination of the reports of Abu Huraira with the main storyteller of early Islam and that is the Rabbi Ka'b al-Ahbar the Rabbi Ka'b al-Ahbar Ka'b al-Ahbar uh, every student of knowledge, knowledge should know that he was from a rabbinical family in Yemen he converted to Islam he was with the Sahaba he converted after the death of the Prophet he came Abu Bakr Umar Uthman he was in that time frame so he's of the senior senior tabi'un age-wise he could be a companion but he didn't see the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam and he uh, would spread many stories from his rabbinical tradition and these stories had a profound impact on tafsir everybody knows this Ibn Taymi everybody points this out Ka'b al-Ahbar is the main source of what is called Isra'iliyat now uh, Ka'b al-Ahbar and Abu Huraira uh, spent much time together and Abu Huraira studied from Ka'b al-Ahbar for many, many years, so much so that Ka'b al-Ahbar would remark that Abu Huraira has studied uh, with me the Torah so much, he can tell me the Torah without speaking Hebrew. He would say this, that Abu Huraira can narrate to you the stories of the Torah without even knowing uh, Hebrew. And Imam Muslim, in his Kitab al-Tamiz, Imam Muslim has a authentic narration from one of the students of Abu Huraira, uh, who says that, be careful, I have seen myself that Abu Huraira would narrate a hadith of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam and then he would narrate from Ka'b al-Ahbar and then he would leave and the people in the audience, his students would mix up what is Abu Huraira saying from the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam and what is he saying from Ka'b al-Ahbar. This is from Muslims Kitab al-Tamiz, Imam Muslim, the famous Imam Muslim. So again, what I'm saying here and this is something that should apply to only those hadith that are narrated by Abu Huraira that deal with the stories, the stories of either the previous prophets or the people to come in the future. Because that's what Kaab is talking about. Kaab is not talking about fiqh. Kaab's not. So when Kaab is, is, is mainly about the stories, when we find the narration that is only found in Abu Huraira uh, and no other person narrates it, then the least that we can do, I'm not saying we reject it, but I'm saying this is found in our own tradition, that it is, it is okay to be skeptical. That okay, is this something we, we, we bring, up, bring up an issue? Okay, is it from Kaab or is it from the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam? So this is point number one. Point number two, directly from that, Subhanallah, lo and behold, we find the exact same narration of Ya'juj and Ma'juj digging through and being told to go back, we find it not from Abu Huraira, not from the Prophet ﷺ, directly from the tongue of Ka'b al-Ahbar. Guys, one plus one equals two. Ka'b al-Ahbar has this entire narration and we find it from other chains, nothing to do with Abu Huraira. You find this in Abdul Razak's tafsir. You find it in Nu'im ibn Hammad's Kitab al-Fitan. You find it in Al-Tabari's tafsir from Ka'b al-Ahbar, directly from Ka'b al-Ahbar. Ka'b al-Ahbar is saying that Ya'juj and Ma'juj are behind the wall and they're digging every single day and they're going to be turned back. And lo and behold, in Sahih Muslim, we find, uh, sorry, not Sahih Muslim, in uh, uh, Tirmidhi, we find Abu Huraira saying the same thing and Ka'b al-Ahbar saying, Saying the same thing guys we just said that there has been cross-contamination to me this is clear-cut evidence that this story is coming straight from that cross-contamination as well and that is why listen to this this isn't Yasir Qadi problematizing Abu Huraira's narration Ibn Kathir himself he says that this uh, report of the Ya'juj and Ma'juj هذا قد روي عن كعب الأحبار ولعل أبا هريرة تلقاه من كعب فإنه كان كثيرا ما يجالسه ويحدثه فحدث بي أبو هريرة فتوهم بعض الرواة عنه أنه مرفوع فرفعه والله أعلم and quotation anybody who understands Arabic can translate خلاصة القول the summary Ibn Kathir himself says 
it's clear to me that uh, that this is not from the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. This is from Ka'b al-Ahbar. Abu Huraira heard it from him and some people assumed that it is from the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. End story QED. In my humble opinion, these two points are enough of a devastating critique to this narration because it goes against every other because it doesn't even make sense as we're going to come to because it is from the Israeliyat, because it is from Ka'b al-Ahbar and from Abu Huraira. And so there has been a mistake. And as has occurred in multiple narrations, this uh, story is not from the tongue of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. It is from Ka'b al-Ahbar because we have authentic narrations that in fact Ka'b is saying the exact same thing that we find uh, in an Isnad to Abu Huraira. And we already know that cross-contamination has occurred. In fact, Qatada meeting Abu Rafi' is itself explicitly negated by the giants of Hadith. Shu'ba ibn al-Hajjaj mentions that لَمْ يَلْقِ قَتَادَ أَبَا رَافِعْ وَإِنَّمَا كَتَبَ عَنْ فُلَانٍ عَنْ فُلَانٍ عَنْهُ That Qatada did not meet Abu Rafi' And uh, Ibn Rajab in his Sharh al-Ilal also mentions that uh, Shu'ba uh, affirmed that Qatada never met Abu Rafi' And Shu'ba was Qatada's main student. And so for Shu'ba to say that Qatada never met Abu Rafi' means he never met him. And Imam Ahmed mentions from Ibn Abi Hatim that, uh, sorry, Ibn Abi Hatim mentions from Imam Ahmed that لم يسمع قتادة من أبي رافع قتادة never heard from Abu Rafi and Yahya ibn Ma'in also mentions لم يسمع قتادة من أبي رافع so we have giants of hadith saying قتادة and Abu Rafi never met 